everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to style one of the most basic things that you probably have in your closet and that is your dress shirt. So it can go from a really basic look to something more chic to whatever style really because it's such a versatile piece and I'm going to be showing you guys different ways that I personally style my dress shirts to achieve a different look or a different style or a different outfit. I'm going to be going over those things. I've got five easy ways for you. And so if you want to see how I style my dress shirts, things like that, keep on watching. Okay, so one of the first things that you can do is to just keep it simple and leave it open. So especially if you've got like an oversized dress shirt or a dress shirt that's a little bit on the loose fitting side, you can put whatever you want inside, whether it's a crop top, a tank top, a cami, any t-shirt, and it will completely change your outfit. Really simple, really easy, but at the same time completely changes your outfit. Second thing is to tuck it in. Now, of course, you have the option of fully tucking it in and everyone can do that, but there are times where depending on the pants or the bottoms that you have, whether it's a skirt or shorts, if your shirt is a little bit more oversized, you can't tuck it all in because it will start to show, will peek through, especially if you're wearing something tighter. So something that you can do is to just tuck in the front completely and leave the back. You can roll the back a little bit so that there's not a huge difference between the length in the front and the length at the back. But tucking it in in the front and leaving the rest of it out just looks very chic and it looks clean and put together. And you can do this with any bottoms, shorts, pants, or skirt, but it changes the vibe of your outfit. It changes, um, it changes how it looks if you were to just leave it out versus tucking in just the front. Another way you can style your dress shirt is to just tuck in one side. So you can leave a couple buttons. Um, you can leave a couple buttons unbuttoned. You can leave some buttons unbuttoned. You can just leave some buttons not done. <laughs> Why am I struggling? <laughs> um, so if you leave some of the but some of the buttons out at the oh my gosh if you leave some of the buttons out at the bottom then you can tuck in just one side whether it's the left side or the right side and you can have again just a different way of tucking in your shirt and you're giving more shape to your outfit instead of just leaving it out completely all right this next step i really like because you can do it with any size dress shirt and it gives you a different look so if you have a bigger dress shirt like if you're using a dress shirt from i don't know from your boyfriend your brother your dad your your husband this trick is really good for an everyday outfit you can just take the bottom ends of the dress shirt and of course you're gonna leave some buttons out i personally like to do maybe two to three buttons depending on the size of the dress shirt and then leave the rest out and then just take both ends, tie it and see, you know, adjust according to your outfit, according to your body shape. And then it gives you a very summer, summer look. It's a very timeless look considering that this has been passed down from generations now. I think it was really popular maybe in the 50s. I could be wrong. And since then we're still using it until this day so you can't go wrong with tying it and putting a knot last but not the least but also one of my current favorites i i really like really like doing it and it was actually inspired by a crop top blouse that i recently got from zara and i actually um I actually showcased that top in my Zara haul video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and do that. And yeah, so I I like the idea. So I figured, how, how am I going to do this with other dress shirts? Because I have a bunch of different patterns, different sizes. Maybe there's a way that I can um, incorporate the style. So what I did was got a dress shirt and then I do maybe two buttons two or three depending again on the size 
and like the previous step of just tying a normal knot, taking both ends, tie it, adjust it accordingly. Once you have the knot that you like, I just tuck it in under, uh, under the shirt itself. And so it gives this fitted look and it just has this like twisted knot effect, which I really like, especially if you're going for like a crop top look or like a crop blouse. So this way you don't actually have to buy a crop blouse. You can just do it yourself. I personally like to use smaller dress shirts than an oversized one to do this. Not the really tight blouses, but loose fitting. So I would say maybe if you see like what I'm wearing now with the seams just over the shoulder, I like to use, I like to use these types of dress shirts for this particular look. And cool thing about it is you can wear whatever bottoms you have. You can even wear just a sports bra underneath or a bralette or whatever underneath. And then you can loosen some buttons at the top. Again, fixing it and adjusting, adjusting it according to your preferences. And the rest is completely up to you. You can experiment as much as you like. You can tuck in different sides, you can tie knots, and then you can accessorize as you like. So you can have a very basic dress shirt and completely transform your look just by styling it a certain way. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I hope that you guys liked it. And if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And also, you can follow me on Instagram where I post lots of fun things and updates and outfit inspirations. And you can see some of the ways that I've styled my dress shirts personally on there as well. So you can go ahead and follow me there. And I'll see you guys on the next one.